talk about boxing in this altitude and whether Foster is better prepared for it as he lives at altitude. And he's been in training here long. But whatever way, I think uh, the breathtaking scenery enough. And we hope for a breathtaking exhibition from both of them. And they're yelling in Ali's corner, Bandini Brown, let him know you're the boss. So we're then into the last 10 seconds of the opening round. So round six now. Well, he isn't pressing that advantage to Lee as he is. Most fighters have come out really raving mad, throw punches, but this fella knows it all. He knows he can bide his time. Can you imagine what would happen if Foster teed off and landed a punch on Ali's chin? I think you could hear him roar around the world if that happened. Well, that's what they call in fight circles, taking a bit of a liberty. Foster's getting through with those left hands. I wonder if he's going to pay for it. yelling from Ali's corner now, double them up, he needs to use those punches in flurries. That really is a, a red swelling there around Ali, that's really the topic of conversation here I think. Those left hands, they really are something Foster up the whole time. with a really strong neck and heart to push him nose. Well, he played that right hand on Ali's eye, all right. And what encouragement. Anybody who gets through with a half a punch against this fella gets all the encouragement in the world. Any chance to wonder of the repeat of the Henry Cooper night? Just look at Bundini Brown there going crazy in the corner, one of Ali's seconds. He was warned off in New York for doing this and throwing water over him during the fight. But that right hand, that really is the killer punch. It was a long punch too. And I think it sickened Foster as much as anything. Looks as though he's going for the finish here, the payoff now. And a trickle of blood right down the face, and there's a, a real mean look on Ali. Oh, and a right hand shot. Uh, he's just pretending, he is just pretending. What a character, this man. He took Foster's best right hand punch, and he's pretending that he's hurt. What a showman. Look at that, the whole world go crazy, they'll think that this fellow's going down. But take my word for it, I'm three feet away, and he's taking no notice. This must be surely one of the most unique fighters in heavyweight history. He took a punch, full on the chin, he came back, and he just pummeled the life out of this man. So there you are now. So eighth round, and with Foster up and down like a yo-yo now, and through his best punch, he knows he can't get away with it. One of the secrets, I think, of Ali's greatness is 
his ability to take a good punch. He was on the floor with Joe Frazier. Of course, Henry Cooper left, hooked him over in 1963. But he just crumbled there like a pack of cards, Foster. He's, I don't think he can make this. I know he's uh, looked as though he'd never get up before, but he's had enough now. And it looks like a slow count, too. They're giving him every chance. No, he's out. His legs have gone like a kid in a playpen there. And be fair, a little bit of compassion there from the Muhammad Ali. He turned it on at the start of the eighth round. He knew he had to go out and do the job, and he did it well.